happy Friday. So I haven't done a video on the floor in a while, but today we are uh, testing some equipment for uh, for a customer that will be using this for batteries. So we have the delamination mill here. This is the openable model. We've done a video of this before. So uh, just a quick recap here. This, uh, when you open up this, these top two bolts, the, the whole top opens, but if you open it and keep this all connected and on the bottom side remove the, the, the nut here, then the whole top assembly, including the rotor, the bearing and everything comes out with it. So you end up with the rotor up in the air and then you have full access, unencumbered access to the wear plates below. So material in this case here goes in through that hole, it gets vacuumed in and it goes in through it all the way out to the exit and it exits here. What's cool about this design as well is that you have this angled mending plate here or, or connection plate. So when you uh, open this up here, all you do is remove these four bolts and then this plate just slides out of the way with it. It follows, it follows the mill out of the way. Um, and then it closes back up and it seals. So uh, this top part is supported, self-supported by the mill itself. So your pipe sitting on top of this going to your cyclone, you don't have to disconnect any of that. It just stays there. So we're getting ready to test this here. Uh, the customer is going to be visiting us here shortly for the FAT testing and we have the vertical mill also and then we also have the dosing hopper with the airlock over there so when uh when we're doing uh battery material we have to put an airlock on the bottom here and the reason for that is that um the black mass is so light and the battery materials are so light that if we don't have this here and we have a blower hooked up to the other side of it, the blower will slowly empty this whole dosing hopper, uh, even just the bag house. The bag house connected to a dosing hopper, uh, believe it or not, will be powerful enough to completely empty that dosing hopper or almost completely empty that, that dosing hopper in not very long time. So if you don't have that there, um, you just have an open auger, you will empty that dosing hopper and it's all gonna go into the bag house. That's without any equipment running. So imagine you just start up your day or you, you finish running at the end of the day and you leave your bag house running for 15, 20 minutes. Um, and uh, just to, for the clean out cycle, well, that could happen. That's what we got going on right now. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Happy Friday.